Marsh Creation is probably one of the worst Fate Boss of all time, right next to Darkness of the Abyss, which pushes for Genesis damage. And today, I'm going to be going over all the important things you need to know in order to do more damage and survive longer. Well, first off, Mineral are the best choice and Beast fall right after. Both of the elements gains 20% bonus stats, which help greatly on both DPS and survivability. With that being said, let's also talk about the actual mechanic. This boss's mechanic is extremely focused on different buffs. And to make it easier to understand, let's look at it in two categories. Mechanic that's related to the damage boss take and the damage your team take. First, the boss will gain random buff at the end of the round. There are a total of 4 effects, and the two that will reduce the damage will be Mental Defense plus 15% and Reality Defense plus 15%. Additionally, the boss will gain a counter on every even turns. When the counter is up, the boss will take 40% less damage. The final pair of buff come from one of the boss's attack. The boss has two attacks, one hurts more, and the other has buff attached to it. This move will apply Stronghold for 3 turns onto the boss, which reduces the damage taken from reality by 100%. And if the boss already have Stronghold, it will then apply Contempt for 3 turns, which reduces the damage taken from Mental Damage for 100%. If you want to do more damage, it's best to remove the buffs from the boss and attack on turns where there is no counter. You can use Dispel for this, but the state will also strip buff from the boss when you cast Rank 2 or Rank 3 buff, counter, and heal incantation. In the future, Channel will also be added to this. You can, of course, also use someone with ability to remove counter as well, but I personally find the Necrologist the best support to bring here. Now, what are the mechanics that make your team take more damage? Well, for beginners, the boss will gain additional 20% damage dealt against enemies who doesn't have a shield or a counter. On top of that, the boss also gains another 10% damage dealt for each status up, positive status, and counter on it. The other two buffs from the collection of buff are Penetration Rate plus 20% and Incantation Might plus 15%, which are very impactful because they are in a separate multiplier. And the attack that actually hurts also deals 150% base damage with additional 100% multiplier if the target has no buff on them. To reduce the damage you take, having at least some form of buff applied to the team at all time is very important. You can also look into character like New Babel for shield or Boom Party for counter. For general kind of play, it's best to play burst rounds and avoid counter turns. Try to strip buff from the boss as often as possible, but most importantly, always strip before doing your burst. Once you're above S, you should make sure your team is above 80% of health at all time. The boss can easily one-shot your units at that stage with the red buff on it. The boss has 550 mental defense and 750 reality defense. Additionally, the boss will also get stronghold first before getting contempt, making mental DPS much better in the stage than reality. Because of that, the best DPS will be Calabona, followed by Millennia. You can also use Centurion here, but you will be unlikely to be able to reach Triple S with her as the DPS. As support, I personally find the Necrologist straight up better than Pickle. Well, in the future, this could change, especially with Stu Nianzi, who can deal good DPS every turn. But for now, both Melinia and Calabona play in Burst, which means counter does not really affect them with the red rotation. Necrologist can provide much better damage boost for the team then. Necrologist's ultimate also double as a healing, which makes life easier. For healers, you can go with Tooth Fairy plus either Bloom Party or Medicine Puck. Bloom Party can provide team with counter, which reduces the boss's damage by 20%, and Medicine Pocket provides 25% damage reduction with the sturdiness his heal provides. Overall, you want to bring double healer if you want Triple S here without 6. The boss simply hurts too much at the end. And that's pretty much everything you need to know. Play in burst and make sure to dispel before doing your burst. This has been Steam by Next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.